Hi, it's Robert F. Kennedy Jr. here. You're HHS Secretary. At HHS, we have a division called the Biomedical Advanced Research and Development Authority, or BARDA. BARDA drives some of our most advanced scientific research. It funds developments of vaccines, drugs, diagnostics, and other tools to fight emerging diseases and national health threats. Over the past few weeks, BARDA reviewed 22 mRNA vaccine development investments and began canceling them. Let me explain why. Most of these shots are for flu or COVID, but as the pandemic showed us, mRNA vaccines don't perform well against viruses that infect the upper respiratory tract. Here's the problem. mRNA only codes for a small part of the viral proteins, usually a single antigen. One mutation and the vaccine becomes ineffective. This dynamic drives a phenomenon called antigenic shift, meaning that the vaccine paradoxically encourages new mutations and can actually prolong pandemics as the virus constantly mutates to escape the protective effects of the vaccine. Millions of people, maybe even you or someone you know, caught the Omicron variant despite being vaccinated. That's because a single mutation can make mRNA vaccines ineffective. The same risk applies to flu. After reviewing the science and consulting top experts at NIH and FDA, HHS has determined that mRNA technology poses more risk and benefits for these respiratory viruses. That's why after extensive review, BARDA has begun the process of terminating these 22 contracts, totaling just under $500 million. To replace the troubled mRNA programs, we're prioritizing the development of safer, broader vaccine strategies, like whole virus vaccines and novel platforms that don't collapse when viruses mutate. Let me be absolutely clear, HHS supports safe, effective vaccines for every American who wants them. That's why we're moving beyond the limitations of mRNA for respiratory viruses and investing in better solutions. Thank you. Produced by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services.